Okay, back at it again. So, the stuff that remains in here is like bric-a-brac and uh, some aluminum way back there that needs to be taken apart. Plus that monster of a water heater. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I got this stuff right here. <clears throat> and as you can see, the thing is only half full, pretty much. After emptying this vehicle out. You can't see that. There you go. Except for that little bit of bric-a-brac. I don't even know. I don't know. I got the auto cast right there. So I don't want to put it in the interior because yeah, that's asking for trouble. So pretty much I'm gonna have to push those scraps onto this U-Haul here. Ooh, this one's a monster. Here. You guys can have a seat right here. Or better yet over here. Watch me try and wiggle it out of here. I left the door open one time and the raccoons got in the, in the garbage can here filled with trash, this one in particular, and they really went to work. Mm. Let be draggled today. Hold on, not quite in the shape I ought to be in. chain link Best vantage point to watch the struggle. Probably right about here.
Whew. I need a wire clipper. What the heck did I do with it? I was clipping some of the roots. Can we get that brass off there? I was watching this video, might wonder why I'm pushing off the truck this way and not connecting with this. Because that would take about four hours, or at least, maybe longer, to move everything necessary to line this truck up like that. Now is not the time. I'd rather do it the hard way than the really hard way. Even though the really hard way would be easier than this way, but. Uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. I pretty much got all the steel out of here that I wanted to get out. This thing needs some major housekeeping and straightening. A couple of wheels here. I think those are 15 inches. with this it still won't be filled so I'm gonna have to take everything out of my pickup truck and put that in here then I think I'm free to go because I'm not gonna deliver this stuff till tomorrow morning that will give me enough time to clean this thing up because it's filthy dirty trash to see if I use my own vehicle I don't have to return it to anybody see there's like pluses and minuses on both sides but then I have to keep up the maintenance and I gotta you know, pay for the insurance and yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So, there is no utopia. Life is a struggle. Must accept it. <laughs> Magic, it's gone. The U-Haul trucks have that anti-slip thing there. But when you slide the water heaters on there, it wants to peel the bottom off. Oh, that was easy. <sighs> I've been at this for... Since 8 o'clock on the north. I wonder how much this one weighs. It's not even filled though. Whoa. <laughs> $148 a ton right now, I think. A bed rail blocking this channel right here and a bungee cord attached to the door so I can't just accidentally close. 
while I'm in it. There we go. I'll stand out on this thing and carefully load lower the door. Standing out on this thing right here, I could slow the door down so it doesn't come crashing down. Oh, wrong tool for the job, but you know, I can't find any of my appropriate hammers for this type of task. Nevertheless, it got the job done, right? That's all I really care about. <sighs> Isn't scrapping fun? I know, I turned the camera too much. Try not to, but what do you got to do? I still think it's better than a GoPro. Stuck to your head, it would be, it would be spinning more than a Linda Blair. Whoo! <laughs> All right, kids. Stuff's empty, pretty much. <laughs> As you can tell I'm out of breath. Ugh. Well, it sounds like a Ford donut when it starts. GM Ford and Dodge, I can tell, you could blindfold me and I would know if it's a General Motors uh, truck starting a Dodge or a Ford. When I was a little kid, my cousins used to make fun of me because I could tell what kind of car and what year it was just by looking at the taillights. Or the front end. <clears throat> the weird thing is, I don't recognize people's faces. Like if I haven't seen them in a little while, they know me. But I'm like, uh, I get like a Ronald Reagan 10,000 yard stare, Alzheimer's stare. Like, huh? Who are you? How close I am to my truck. It's hard to judge. We cannot judge. Oh, back out of the car. Now I have to get into this one. Well, it's in the ditch right there. Wow, it's really low. Woo! Oh, I gotta walk all the way over there, I think. Cause I got some things with wires on them. So yeah, as far as steel is concerned, this is all wiped out except for that washing machine. It might work. I want to test it out. All cleared out right here. All emptied of steel. Pretty much all emptied of steel. More or less. Okay, kids, what did I do with that clipper? Came all the way back here for it. And... It's nowhere to be found. Don't tell me I put, left it on the back of the U-Haul and I walked all the way back here. 
Of course, they probably did. <clears throat> you have a short attention span. Uh oh. I really lost it. The heck did I do with it? You need to keep it in one spot. That don't, that don't happen. That's like. There's another one right here. That's why it's good to have like 50 of each thing. <laughs> That's my claim for the day. You post too many videos again now, right? But. It's more of a log, 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 whatever you want to call it, than anything else. I think it don't work very well. Okay. I do know that I guess the GoPro would aim the camera better at what I'm looking at. Because when I, I noticed when I was pounding that thing back into shape with my hand. The camera wasn't really focused in on it. No, I don't want to bother with that wire. Well, this one's not as good, though. This one doesn't cut as good. That's some wire in there still, but... Uh... See what happens when you get really tired out. I kind of wish I had the other clipper because that one works a lot better. If you ever want to see any more of my scrapping videos, just please remember to ring that bell.